just gonna check my oil quick, get my tractor running, warming up, and then make sure dad doesn't need any help. It's about 18 degrees right now, and it was pretty much 20 degrees all day yesterday, and we got a little fertilizing done yesterday. Today, since there's a little snow on the ground, I'm gonna switch. Instead of doing grass, we're gonna do some alfalfa. We had a spring down here break, so it's not pushing that chain onto the sprocket very hard, and we had to, we had to tie it, so it was constant pressure. So there was a spring there for a reason, and so when I go to the co-op today, hopefully they have some parts, because they also run Wilmer spreaders, and sometimes they got parts over there. So I asked them if they had that part we were needing, and they said they don't think so, so we're probably gonna have to wire it again. Which might lead to us breaking something else or wearing something else out. But it's the only way we can go today is if we wire that. 70, 75 acre patch of alfalfa. There's a couple water spots that I'm gonna have to avoid. I brought the drone because it's not too windy today and it's not snowing or nothing. You guys back home are gonna love this. So. That spring is supposed to be pulling up, which pushes that chain down on the sprocket. So all we did was attach three bungee cords and just pulled it up. And as long as those bungee cords don't come off or break, we're gonna be good today. All right, so we're gonna get rolling. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like our our uh, MacGyvering, MacGyver. MacGruber? MacGruber! I don't know. Was it Mac MacGyver? I don't know what it's called. Nevertheless, here we go. The whole reason there's a spring there is because that needs to be able to move with the axle on that back tire that it's, you know, it's ground driven and it needs to stay on that sprocket. But also if the tire comes up, you know, you don't want something to bust. And so, I'm pretty surprised that the wire that we had on yesterday didn't break because we went through some low spots where the tires really had to, or the axles really had to flex. And speaking of that, I'm sure that's how that spring broke is because we were going through something where the two tires really, or the two axles really had to turn. And so I'm happy that we got the three bungee cords on there because it'll allow that to flex. And I really do think that'll keep us going all day today. up and I thought I needed to get going real quick and so I didn't grab sunglasses which was a mistake and then I didn't eat any breakfast which it was which was an even bigger mistake because now I'm hungry and I'm squinting and my head hurts I didn't even bring water I'm not prepared So we got that 70 acres done. It actually worked really well. And dad said Mount Vernon had the part. And so we will, geez, that is a mess. So I'll call dad and see if he grabbed the part yet. 
And if he has, then we're gonna fix this. So here's what it's supposed to look like. We got that spring back on. Kind of looks like that hole is worn. And we're kind of thinking that cotter print just worked loose and fell out and then that whole mechanism fell out. Now we're gonna head back, just grab a little bit of fertilizer and finish these last two small fields. I don't think I have to turn for anything and this should go pretty quickly. That feels normal. All right. Hopefully that spring stays ready to go. Everything's dialed in. Let's do it. Do you have mange? Last pass. It's for all the marbles. Hope I don't have a bunch left. Oh yeah. It's enough to do like Maybe two acres, so. So in something like this, just speed up that PTO a little, make it throw it a little farther away. That way it's less concentrated, but we're, we're still not gonna be over fertilizing by any means. That's more like it. Almost, just like 10 more feet and we would've been gone. Three calves last night? I take four. Tomorrow we'll have about five pairs that we can take over to the pasture. Yep, side. Yep. And uh, only one heifer left to calf. One heifer left, which is pretty awesome. And it makes these buildings last a lot longer when there aren't cattle in them, ain't that right? Sure bedding. We're over at one of our pastures, bringing some mineral, turning the water on because it's too cold to let the float run because it'll freeze up. I done looking at the forecast for tomorrow and it's supposed to be cold again tomorrow, but it heats up rather quickly. So, sorry. And uh, so I'm gonna grab another load of fertilizer tonight and that way we can get some corn stalks done early tomorrow morning before it heats up too much. And I really didn't want to, but I know how bad and wet and sucky it's gonna be once spring hits. <laughs> on top but the sun's been out I tried sticking the pliers in the ground and it's pretty solid underneath one issue is we got a pretty heavy stream flowing through there but we crossed it to harvest that other side when it was not frozen at all and wet but now it's partially frozen and wet so we think it'll go tomorrow on the 5th of April so a few days ago area is doing an essential worker appreciation promotion so there's a 25 percent off on select items at Ariat right now in the links below if you want to check that out as i was saying it's going to be cold again tonight one of the last things we're going to do is bring some more bedding out to them cows out in the cornfield this night we had like two calves out there and if it wasn't for that bedding i don't know 
Might have been a little tough for him. chasing up she was one of the first cows that lost her calf actually out in that cornfield it was a little premature and that was probably three weeks ago and so that's why we were chasing her up we just had her in a the gate was open we were both out there and we thought it was a good time to get her up and just get her out of the way for when we bring the rest of them up to bring them to pasture in the future we got some fertilizing done yesterday some done today and it looks like tomorrow we're gonna be able to do two 80 acre fields of corn thanks for hanging out don't forget to check out the links below we got all kinds of goodies down there we got sunny farms merch we got instagram for my dad and i we got ariat links too thanks for watching this video see you next time